bro. Let me get this mic on you, man. There you go. Sweet. Uh, I, I, I kind of have developed some exercises to hopefully enhance my sensitivity and timing and balance breaking. Uh, I call it TikTok and I call it Walk Walk. Uh, you probably have under the name of tension and release or pressure and release. So it's kind of, if you think in terms of tension and pressure and releasing it. And so if I get my partner here and I assume this position, we kind of equal, on, you know, one side, to me this is my dominant side. This is my top hand. So with this one, I can load weight into the person. And, or I can, I can adjust, I can do something to him, and I'm gonna get a result out of this. I'm gonna get some, some result out of this guy right here. Okay, so my problem is how do, I, how do I practice this in such a way that I can create some situation, some tilt or some loading on the guy's foot or hand. So I, I know that my hands do two things. They either relax and bring them in, or they push out and cause a, a reaction. Uh, so I, I, see, I used to do it like I'd turn my body to do this, or I would shift and move. But if he's a, a stoop, if he knows what he's doing, as soon as I shift my weight, he should be dropping me right here. <laughs> yeah, he should be doing that to me, right? So, in other words, I'm not going to get away with the shift. And I'm not going to let him. See, he just shifted. <laughs> he just shifted. I got him. See? So I'm not going to let him get away with it. I don't want him to let me get away with it. So I, I'm not, I can't shift because he's going to catch me. And I can't turn because he's going to catch me. But the one thing I don't think he can catch me at is a shoulder roll. And I'm not moving my body, I'm just moving this shoulder. And if it's my top hand, then this sets it up so that when I roll my shoulder, I want to kind of come this way. Because that lets me drop him down. If it's underneath, I want to come up and pop him up. Okay? So after I practice just shoulder rolling, you know, down here, up here. Mm -hmm. I got him, I got him, you know, uh, what was that dummy that was on the TV show? The, I can't remember his name, you know, Howdy Doody, Howdy Doody guy, yeah. Okay, so once I can get him moving, there, he, I got him moving, he's going to recover. And now I got him moving on his, on what he wanted to do. I mean, I had to force this on him. Bah, I had to force that. But I kill it. And now this, he gives me this. Now he's going to recover from that too. And I'm just going to do tick-tock, either where we're going opposite ways, like this, or I'm going to join with him, and we'll mirror each other, like this. See? So these are the drills I've kind of developed, and, and I'm trying to teach my guys to just, you know, to just enhance their own sensitivity. Because you can watch someone do stuff, and you can get the idea, and you can kind of understand the principles, right? But that doesn't mean you can go out there and do it. And, and I, I'm real fortunate because I have a group of about eight or nine high-level karate guys. And they don't let me get away with nothing. <laughs> they don't let me, right? They don't let me get away with nothing. And I got one guy, I call him my tester. And Dennis will not let you get away with anything. And Dennis is like, if I'm doing my release motion here, I let him get his best grip. And I let him get, he's ready. And I'm, I, I show him some things, so, you know, I, I'll get him, don't let me go, hold me. I'll let him feel me start to do something and he'll stop me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, he just stopped me. He's not gonna let me get, see, he stopped me, he stopped me, he stopped me, because he's ready to let me, uh, to react to me, mm -hmm. okay? So the real answer is, if I want to take this hand over here, I don't go there, because he'll stop me. He's pushing me back this way. So here's my tension, here's my release, 
and there's my tension again. I can I work it where he can do it to me, or I can do it to him whenever with him helping me, with him helping me. And then what he does, he says, "Okay, now do it." <laughs> you know, because now he's I'm just showing him how I can. Yeah, he, I need the okay, okay. So the real answer is. I don't really have to do the same thing that you're ready to stop me. That's, you know, I don't really have to do that. That's stupid. That's stupid. But I said, so I'll show them the real answer is if, if you know I'm going to go this way and you block it, then I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go the other way. But you know what? I'm going to go that way anyway. So he's, he's going to stop me. So stop me. Stop. There you go. He stopped me. It's a tug of war. Well, that's because I'm fighting down this line of power. I'm going to change the line of power. I'm going to go to here, or here, or here. I'm still, f I'm, I'm not, re I'm not letting him, I'm not going with where he's pushing, but I'm just changing the line of power. It can be, because this is the one place I know from here to here, I'm, I'm, I'm locked. I can't go this way anymore. So I'm going to change it just a little ways, this way, and I'm getting something. And I change it this way, I'm getting some more. Change it this way, get some more. And sometimes he'll lock even he'll you know he'll lock down even harder than that. So now I'm not gonna I can't. I need to show him something else. So I'm gonna go. Well, what if I just use my legs? What if I just lean into him? So when I do a release, I think the important thing is I have to determine which of his legs I want to move. So if I'm at this Tori Mai. I put, the, I put the, the, the bait out here, right? He reaches for it. That's his attacking step. That's his attacking step. So I'm going to capitalize on that if I can, so I can get out here and float around and hit that next step right there if I, if I need to. <laughs> and, but what if he steps in here and he grabs me and he, and he solidifies like that? And I, I know I can make that leg load so that the other one fires, that releases that one right there, it's going to fire. There, I know I can do that. But what if I want to move, after he loads the front leg, what if I want to move the front leg? Well, he's got his weight on it, it's not going to move. And if I pull his weight onto it more, it's not going to move. It must mean I need to lift this leg up. Lift it up. Now, I can't do it like this. I can't, I can't lift like that. But I can just since, since I have a straight arm anyway, or if I don't have a straight arm, there's a straight arm. There's a lift the leg up right off the floor. It freed it. When I move it away, that moves it. That lets me do my spine lock here. So the, the, the exercise of the drills of, of just this, and we just start TikToking, you know, and this is a side to side TikTok, right? And we're both vulnerable here. And we're both, so when I break his balance, I don't want to be off balance myself like this. So I just go to here. And I just stay right here. And get whatever I want here. And if I need the second hand, I'll use it. But I don't, I don't come in here and start from the back side of him and try to push him over this way. Because that ain't working. And the real answer is, why am I fighting that in the first place? Why am I fighting that in the first place? He wants this, so I'm going to give him this. So if, if, if this is, this doesn't really get me any techniques right now, but it just, it's just teaching me how to be sensitive so that when, he, when the guy, when the guy's walking to me, I'm immediately getting in the side of the universe that he's at so that I can have him. And if, I, if I'm not right, like here we go, we're together, together. What if I, what if I went wrongly? What if we went this way? And this way. I can still make that work. Even if I'm wrong, I can still get this place here. And, 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 uh, so after I've, after I've gotten him on my leg, what I want him to do is I want him to feel so happy about that, that he's, he, right about right there, he hasn't decided to escape. Now he's starting to escape, see? So I need to give him a little bit more. Well, he's very happy, to, and there he's escaping again. So it's a fine balance of make him on one leg, but make him happy about it until I release him. 
and you know he's happy or he starts to fight back fight back when I release him real powerfully I get another extreme overkill I you know but I don't I don't want to get I don't never I don't never that's two negatives I don't ever try <laughs> You're, you're an English major, aren't you? You know I got it wrong. Don't never, <laughs> Is I wanted to be happy here because I'm happy here. I'm happy. I'm happy. You're happy. <laughs> and he said, look, he's smiling. He's happy too, right? Isn't he happy? He's so happy. <laughs> and I don't care whether he falls down or not. Sure. I don't really care. Sure. As long as he's not doing this to me. <laughs> and kicking me and hitting me and stuff. So... Uh, so you know that's that's what we do. We, we hit, we touch, we relax, release, and if and whenever he wants to take over, he'll just break my balance, and I escape. And he stayed with me. He stayed with me. So you know, the, this practice allows me to to play with you, or dance with you. I dance with you until I don't want it anymore. The next time, I didn't break his balance. That's his clue to take over and lead the dance. So I let him have his, his little catches and I, I, I try to feel it and say, okay, see he didn't have me there. And I'm gonna tell him that, not because I'm mean and cruel, but because he needs to know that he didn't have, that I know he didn't have me. And he knows that, see he didn't have that one right there. He released me and didn't have it. So I'm, it's my turn to take the next thing right here, right here, see? And I'm not ready for him to step yet. I'm sorry, it's okay. <laughs> He's just too good. <laughs> so to me, this is my practice now. Sure. You know, trying to go out there and do a lot of uchikomis and, and get sweaty and tired. I just, no, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, but this, to me, this is a dance. It's like, you know, it's like a ballet. And, and it, when you get old and you get you know, a lot of problems in, in your joints and stuff. This is probably where you will naturally gravitate to. Or you'll just sit down. You'll just sit down and don't do it anymore. So, um, tension and release. That's, that's the main thing. It's teaching me tension and release it. And tension and release it. But you don't kill it. This is, this is, this is uh, pressure release pressure release this is tension release to me that's the two differences one I'm when I'm bringing it to me and releasing it the other ones I'm pushing into it and release it because when I see the head bob like that <laughs> that starts the motor running on him and lets him dance with me so that's all I got Bravo. That's good. all right thanks <laughs>